It is Monday night once again, and I must say, it's been a weird week for me. I can't uh, explain, but, well, I'll try to explain a little bit. Uh, the glasses are not for the rock star stuff or the Hollywood stuff. I just, about an hour ago, came out of an a eye doctor because of, I had these issues, and I, which brings me into, I would like to apologize to my band, Hollow Point. Uh, we had a big show Saturday night at uh, K.J. Farrell's in Belmore. And um, Friday night, I ended up in the hospital. I was in the emergency room. We were in there until uh, Saturday, and then I had to go get a brain MRI. And then today, I spent the whole day at the eye doctor. So I apologize to my band and my bandmates. Uh, I am very, very sorry. There was nothing more I wanted to do than to be there with you and rock that stage with you. So I, I apologize, but that's the way it goes. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my guests last week, the Matt and Amy Band, uh, great guests and um, great people, good friends, and uh, I thought they did a phenomenal job here. And I also want to just let you know that um, Matt Levine, who uh, is the Matt of the Matt and Amy Band, is going to be doing a show uh, via through us and uh, Vince Martell from the Vanilla Fudge to raise some money for our veterans. It's uh, an organization called Three Hots and a Cot. And uh, Matt's going to do a singer-songwriter uh, benefit out in uh, Shirley. I believe it's in Shirley at uh, Good Friends. The name of the place is Good Friends. I believe that's on June 22nd. Matt, if I'm wrong, call up and let me know. Uh, but please, I would love everyone to go support this because these are the guys that gave up everything for us just to have our freedom. And you guys know how I feel about that. So please go support that night at uh, Good Friends in Shirley. Three hots and a cot. That, that means it gives the veterans that are coming home that are living under bridges and in the woods, and it's just horrible. I mean, these guys gave us more than we could ever give them, and uh, it's time that we give back to them. So it means that they'll get three meals and a place to sleep at night. So please, whatever you can, even if you don't have the 10 bucks to go in, if you have $3, whatever you can do, do, because these guys deserve it more than anyone. So please do that for our veterans that have given us the right to go out and live in a land of freedom. So thank you. Um, I also want to just say that, uh, like I said, it's been a rough week for me. I, I can't even explain it. But uh, we have a very, very, very special show for you tonight. I have two really great people here tonight. They're singer-songwriters. They're also a couple, I believe. Is that? Are we a couple? <laughs> yeah. There were a couple of people <laughs> over here, and um, they're gonna, we're going we're gonna to come back. We're going to go to a little commercial. We're going to come back. I'm going to introduce my guests, and then we're going to take you into a little uh, journey through their path of uh, w what got them here today and uh, where they're about to take off and blast off up into the stratosphere with their talents. So we were going to take a little break, and we'll be right back with my special guests. So hang in there. Get yourself right. Get yourself tight, and you know this is the place to be on a Monday night with the Maverick Soul. So we'll be right back. Keep yourself tight. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Huntington Toyota, the experience of a lifetime. Don't take our word for it. The experience for me at Huntington Toyota made me feel very comfortable. It's their professionalism, their honesty, and their integrity. I've bought at least nine or ten cars here at Huntington Toyota. They give me the best price around. It never was about high pressure. It never was about them. It was always about us. Today's cars are very similar, but Huntington Toyota is very different. Huntington Toyota, where it's all about you. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. 
For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. We are back with the Maverick Soul, and I got in the studio, I got two very, very talented people. Just before I get to them, though, I want to reach out to my Woodstock people out there. We're getting close, guys. It's getting around that time, so uh, get yourself ready. We're going to be up in, uh... oh, hold on. We got a phone call. This must be somebody of importance. You got the Maverick Soul. You got the Maverick Soul. Uh, it's the little Brit. <laughs> no, what's going on, Neville? I was just going to mention your name. Well, you see, I, I knew. I, I, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm with you. I'm watching. Well, thank God you got that computer going, my friend. I, I did. I just got it up and running, and um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, you streaming or whatever I'm doing, but I'm watching you, and uh, you're two guests there. Oh, I'm sorry about the glasses, but you know the story I talked to you before. I know the story, and I, uh, it, you look good, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 Thanks, no, Neville. No, I'll send you a check. <laughs> I wish I looked that good. It's why I was sitting in a dumb bit of basement, but <laughs> carry on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not getting off that easy. Oh. I, I, I actually was just telling my two guests about you and our experience with The Who and our, the day we spent with The Who, and I was yep. telling them, and uh, also, just so everybody knows... Um, I'm writing an article now for the magazine The Village, which will be out uh, this month for June. Uh, Jim Savalli, his, yeah. his, his, uh, and Neville. My first article is about the day that you and I and Janine spent with The Who and uh, all the things we did backstage and all the wonderful things and journeys that you took me on behind in the Coliseum. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, they let three cars park underneath the Coliseum. Roger Daltrey, <laughs> Pete Townsend, and us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. And it was all for the, from this man. Now, this is for you people who don't know, Neville Chester's road manager for Cream, The Who, and Jimi Hendrix, okay? And he also did the uh, Sgt. Pepper's album with the Beatles. He worked with Brian Epstein and Paul McCartney on that album. He worked with James Taylor. He worked with Led Zeppelin. He worked with uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Tommy, you're making me blush. <laughs> Neville. <laughs> I told you, live it, baby, live it, live it. I mean, you're a, you're a, I, I mean, you know the thing that's amazing to me about Neville is we go backstage at these big concerts and that, right? I mean, like people will want to see the, the, the rock stars, but the rock stars think he's a rock star. <laughs> and it's so amazing to watch these icons go, oh, my God, Neville Chester. Is, it's like it's incredible. So, you, Neville, you just have to suck it up and just realize that people love you and they love, I mean, what you've done, if you, if you added all, up the, all the stars together, they couldn't come up with your story because you've seen it all, you lived it all. I was just enough telling, already, I was just... Enough already, get up with the show, <laughs> get these good people going, come on. We're going we're gonna to get them going, but I'm sure they're very happy. Would you guys like to say hello to Neville? Give Neville a little yell out. Hello, Neville. Hey, Neville. Hello, hello. All right, Pleasure so. to meet you over the phone. Watching, so He's watching. So you're enjoy. being, you know, you, you know, you got a, you got a great person. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Neville, I will talk to you tomorrow, and we're probably going to stop by, okay? Yes, yeah. All right? Good luck. Thank you, my brother. We love you here, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for calling. Love you all. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for calling in. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. That was a treat. I love Neville. He is unbelievable. This, what this man has seen is just <laughs> incredible. He tells me stories about being... In the car with um, Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, and Jimi Hendrix, and I think one of the Beatles. I think it might have been Paul McCartney. The four of them sitting in the back for hours just laughing. I don't That's know awesome. what they were laughing at, <laughs> <laughs> but they were laughing. So uh, he's got stories like he has a diary from 1965 or six or something that he's never read. Every day, it's incredible. So anyway, I want to get back to my great guest tonight. They are a group called Human Human. 
Now, we'll get into that because I want to hear where that came from myself. But they are both Dan Batista and Joseph, Josephine Stowicki. Correct? Correct. Okay. Now, there is, there is a little story here involved. I mean, um, they, have, they are one group called Human Human, but they also have other groups. Now, you are in a group called um, bah, 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 Organic Sound Project, right? That was my group from Boston. That's okay. right. Now, that was my last group. Now, I, I read a little stuff about that group, but just give me a little quick summary of you, were, you went to school in Boston, right? I went to school in Boston, um, wound up living there for a long time, putting a group together, Organic Sound Project. We played together for over six years, um, played the whole Boston music scene. We did really well. Um, you know, we all went our separate ways. Uh, brought me back here to New York where I started producing. But that band we did, it was kind of like a jazz collaboration with hip hop and um, kind of that jam band sound all kind of really? fused together. Absolutely. Jazz and hip hop. Yeah, and jam band kind of all flowing together. It was a very cool sound. So it's like the dead on mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Like, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But yeah, that was a very, very cool experience. Now, and now, do you have any members that you'd like to give a little shout out to? That you know? Yeah, I'd love to. I hope uh, my good friend Mike, Bob, my brother Tom was in the band with me. He's, oh, really? Cool. He's, in the, he's, uh, he's actually still up in Boston, still doing music up there. Um, and uh, yeah, and my, and my good friend Dan as well. He was, he was my, my other songwriter with me. So, so I say hello now, to those guys. Was that an original? Uh, that was all original. All oh, original cool. music, yep. Now, did you mostly play up in Boston? Boston, New York, Vermont, kind of really? the Northeast area. Yep. And how long was that band together? About six years. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were lucky to do like the hard rock. We used to really? play. Uh, in Nectar. New York? Uh, hard rock in Boston, uh, Nectar's up in, up in Vermont, a classic place where you know, fish came from. Um, we played uh, down at the, bro um, the brokerage on Long Island when it was still open. We did a lot of cool things. Oh, it's still open. The they, they changed it a little bit. I think it's a new ownership. Thing, yeah. Though. Yeah, you know, Bitter End as well, New York City. We did that. Cool venue. Cool. Yeah, it's, so. it's just nice to say you run that stage. Exactly. I, 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 was, I did that too. Exactly. That's cool. And Young Lady, you also have, uh, you, were, you, did, you did an EP just recently, Building Fires All Summer. That's it. With, and the group was uh, Trees Hate Everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got to explain that one to me. Everyone says that. Um, well, if, I guess on the nerd Scale, it would be uh, a Legend of Zelda reference, uh, mm -hmm. the Deku tree. Um, but, but really, it was a drawing. I, I started out in fine arts when I was younger. Um, my mom was an art teacher, and her sister taught art for 30 years. So started with art, and then slowly music. I bought a guitar when I was like 14, and then um, music started to mesh with art. I did my album artwork. So I, in high school, would record on my computer. Um, sometimes I would use a digital camera, actually, and split the MP3. Right. Um, so we both sort of do the production side of things. Um, but I ended up writing about 300 songs. Um, oh, that, that's all? In 07 to like 09, yeah. <laughs> um, I was bored. Two years um, you wrote 300 songs. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's like every other day you wrote a song. Yeah, um, so, so, but some of them make good material. Some of them, they're mostly you right. know, demos. Um, but I got them all recorded on, really? my, on my computer, yep. Um, so I have the MP3 files that I can reference to if I ever want to go back and expand. Well, all you produce so is if cool. you're looking for young, nice, <laughs> new songs, you know, she's got 300 of them in the bag. Yeah. Well, a few of them are out of the bag. Those four are, um, some of them are, let's see, two of them I think are new, and then two are a little mix of new writing and old material. Okay, and now is that available? That is about to be available okay. within probably the month. Okay, great. Um, it's, it's available for streaming on Reverb Nation. Um, it's ReverbNation.com. Uh, Trees at everything. Very good. Gordo okay. Studios. Oh, yeah. Um, my EP was produced by Gordo Studios. Um, Philip Jimenez did the uh, few of the arrangements and some percussion in the background, things like that. Now, how was it working um, with him? It was good. It was very uh, relaxed. Very relaxed. Um, you know, it was it was like I had total control. I, he would let me sit in the you know in the director's chair basically, and um, well, nice. I believe there's a uh, there may be a future Weedus uh, production in the cool. making. Very good, very awesome. good, very good. And now, Dan, you have um, organic sound project. You did that already. That's done. But now, how did you two get together? Um, and, and and before we even go there, where did human 
human come from? Because, see, I'm, an, I'm a name. I love to name bands. And I love that name. I just want to know where it came from. Human Human, actually, the band name I had kind of stored away in the, uh, in the vault for a while. Uh, something I really loved the name. I, I couldn't find the right project to put it to. Uh, I wrote it one day down in a book and while I was taking notes in college, obviously paying attention, of course. Of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> but I loved it. I just looked, it looked nice next to each other. It was aesthetically pleasing. I'm kind of a stickler for things like that. Um, so I liked it. I put it aside and I said, you know, I kind of bounced it off a couple of my good friends. I love that name. That's really catchy. It's really today. It's hip. I like it. I like um, it. So I was, like, you know. And I mean, with the two, I mean, it's. Well, that's kind of <laughs> after I met Josie here, it was kind of, and we started writing music together. I was like, what do you, what do you think of this name? And I don't like, absolutely, let's go for it. I love it. I love it. I really love it. I think it's really, really fresh and hip and, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's a cool name. I think, I'm, I'm excited and, to Because I, I yeah. do believe that a name makes a major difference. A lot of people don't believe that, but it does. It does. And, and you know, just as, like, you know, a lot of bands that I've been in, you know, I tell these guys, you know, you tell, you know, when you come on stage, you know, let's not just look like we're in, you know, jeans and T-shirts, you know, because it, it, it makes a difference. You go see a band that's polished and, you know, pressed out, I mean, it's, you know, it takes away from even if they're not as good, you know what I mean? But it, it makes a difference. It's the whole experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, it's, it's um, amazing, though, that you two guys have, how long have you been together, though? We met about a year ago. That's what's amazing to me, that you've, you've come this way so quickly. And so it must have been a good fit right from the get-go. We played music together the first time we, I think, got together and uh, had a couple drinks and played music. Mm -hmm. and was it one of those, hey, this is, I know this is right? It was <laughs> awesome. It was awesome. I, I heard some of her stuff before we got together. Um, I had been on a trip home from Boston, still playing in the Organic Sound Project at the time. Um, she happens to be a bike mechanic at a, a, I know she was just telling me a local bike shop. She goes, you see my hands? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a coal miner. I'm, I'm just covered in, in grease. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my good buddy is a photographer, Brent Eisler. You can check him out as well. Um, he, um, he was shooting some photos for, for the shop, and we met, and she asked if I was a musician, oddly. Um, it was very strange. Very Walked strange. In. Don't you believe, though, that that <laughs> all, all was meant to be? I, I'm a believer in that. And uh, yeah, and then, you know, time went on. We didn't really, we didn't. I didn't see her, and I went back to Boston and played music. And I forgot who he was. Forgot who I was entirely. <laughs> Got his number. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I wound up saying, hey, I'd love to do a collaboration with a female vocalist. It was something that I had wanted to do for a really long time. Um, I had an idea in my head, a sound that I wanted to go for, and it just kind of fell into place. She swung by, played a couple tunes, and... We wrote a song. We wrote a song the first <laughs> night we hung out, and uh, ever since then we've been playing music, and Human well, Human was formed. I, I love the name. But I, I do want to go back a little further, though. Sure. You, you definitely, I did, I have met your dad and your mom, mm -hmm. and um, your dad is also a vocalist. So yes. So me, me and him had a, a, a very long conversation one night. I, I believe it was in here. It might have been when I you think were, it was in here. And... Uh, we were comparing notes in that. So you, you definitely had a musical influence right from the get-go. I grew up in recording studios. And I did. I have listened to your dad. He's very, very good. Yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of that modern-day crooner. He's, he's, you know? he's a good guy. Yeah, he's, uh, I love his stuff. He's, he's really doing some great stuff. Yeah, uh, he great, really built great a, a great name for himself here on Long Island. Uh, but he always had me involved in music. I'd been in a recording studio. You know, I had got my hands dirty on the en like engineering on the board probably by the time I was 11 years old, and that's kind of where the production side comes into play for me and my passion for recording and um, working in a studio. Uh, I almost love it as much as, as writing because mm -hmm. I'm a technology guy. I get in front of that stuff, and I can spend hours upon hours. Just See, me, I would rather be in a studio than on stage in a club. I love them both. I, I can't. I, I could. I it's, a, it's a toy cost for me. I like yeah, creating. Yeah, I think I'm fifty-fifty like fifty split. I think. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> but creating it's it's like a it's a it's my canvas. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I love. It's cool. I uh, I think I now you also have a, a, a CD that's coming out in July or August, right? The Human Human EP um, is scheduled for release. We're hoping to get it out on all the major online reseller as retailers um, for. For August, we're hoping for the beginning of August. So that's a good time to have them because we're going to be up at Woodstock in August. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think the 
40 fourth period. <laughs> it's going to be good. Wow. It's going to be good because it's going to be the first year it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be really crowded. I know it. I just want to, you know, if I could pick up a camera, Vicky, would I be better off on one for just showing this picture? I don't want to. I just want you don't mind, do you? No, it's fine. This is a sketch that she made, <laughs> which I think is pretty incredible. If we can zoom in on that a little bit. She also did our album cover, the, the picture you can see on our oh, Facebook. Is that it? She, really? she hand drew that. It's in that book, too. It's very good. And she, when did you, you did that while well, you were just bored in class, office. right? I worked in an office for a while. I was bored taking notes. And there's actually phone numbers and stuff on it. Yeah. And, but there's white out, too. So white she's quite, <laughs> quite the artist, this young lady. So um, I, I can't say enough about them. They're, they're great people. Um, I, I, I just can't wait to get him up on the stage, but I think we're going to just cut to a little commercial here, and we will be back with Human, Human. So stay with the Maverick Soul. We'll be right back. Keep yourself tight. Hang in there. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody was barbecuing, barbecuing, barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that.
Yes. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. We are back with the Maverick Soul right here in the Madhouse. And guys, I tell you, I'm getting to do what I like to do most, and that's introduce to you guys new talent that you've never seen before that deserve to be seen by the world. And we are in 74 countries, so all you producers out there, if you like what you see, this is what my job is to present these people to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Human Human. You should know by now They're gonna catch you with your feet on fire They're gonna catch you, you can run and hide Maybe they're gonna find you, don't you know Running by a tugboat by the bay Last night you left the sidewalks painted in red Better run home fast and get back to bed Oh, the shark has pretty teeth, dear And he shows them pretty white Just a jackknife Just a jackknife has my keep dear, and he keeps it out of sight. Just a jackknife, just a jackknife. cover for you. This one, uh, this one's by Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. It's, uh, uh -oh. it's kind of one that we really like. So it's called Killing it. the Blues. Mm -hmm. 
together Lost our minds in silver screens Giving up can make it better Our threads are tearing at their seams Our laughter, we're trapped in Watch it go till it comes again Bottomed out at your front door Running dry, running thin Hush now baby, hold it in Watch it bury everything take a little break and we're going to come. What do you guys think of human, human? <laughs> They're human. Very good. Very Thanks, nice. Sally. Very Thanks, nice Sally. harmonies. Beautiful harmonies. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with some more music from Human, Human. So stay tight. Get yourself right. We'll be right back. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do! Power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. B -b 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. 
Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Hmm. Uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you're... We are back with Human Human. Are we human? I don't know. Are we human? I think so. I think so. I love, I love, I love this. America, the youth of our country, is in good hands with people like this. So I want to turn it back over to Human Human. I hear the train are coming. It's rolling round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Cause I'm stuck in for some prison. Time keeps dragging on. And that train keeps on a rolling down, down the sand. And When I was just a young boy, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy and don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Yeah, and I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head. Rich folks eating in fancy dining cars. They're probably drinking whiskey and they're smoking their cigars. I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. Yeah, and those people keep on moving. And you know that's what tortures me. This one's called Heading Home. It'll probably be the, the single.
take what you want and leave me here to die Cause tomorrow I'll be heading home Take everything you know that I don't mind Cause tomorrow I'll be heading home Heading home Heading home Give a damn, I'll be heading home. Take those words, down on me your head. Yes, it can. I'll be heading home. Heading home. Heading home. to show I can't tell you that I love you I can't promise anymore Love it, love it. Thanks, Tommy. I think it's, it was such a pleasure having you guys here. Thanks did so you much. Enjoy? I did. Thanks for I think uh, what we should probably do. Now, where can they reach you? Well, right now, uh, we're going to be launching the new website, the Human Human website. But check us out because we're going to be doing a lot of social media posts and updates right through our Facebook page. So find us at Human Human Band right on Facebook. You'll be able to find all of our updates, all of the kind of the new artwork that we have going on because like, mm -hmm. the artwork's a big piece of what we do. <laughs> and you have the artists. Ab absolutely. <laughs> um, so we'll also be doing some teasers and when the shows are going to be. So we cool. really we really hope that everyone comes well, down. Well, keep us in Madhouse aware of where you're going to be playing because I'd like we'll to, be. we'd like we to definitely come down and check, check you out. And um, don't forget to pick up your uh, edition of uh, the Village Magazine which I will have my first column in this, this week, and it's going to be about the day we spent with the Who. And uh, it will be all coming right out of the madhouse right here. So why don't you guys play us out? I thank you so much. I, you blessed our stage. I love your music. I think you're wonderful. Play us out, and let me go home with a nice feeling. And I hope you guys are too. So all you people, we will see you next week with the Maverick Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, human, human. They want to live the man A lonely soul who no one did understand He said something to me He said something to me A few years ago yeah. 
He said, I'm the gasoline, a little bit you won't believe what I am capable of, what I'm capable to destroy. Cause when he picked up that guitar, he said, Devil comes looking, a devil comes looking for me. That man, he went away, and people say they heard him say, one day you will see, if you give me some time, son, I will show you the way. Cause I don't like gasoline, yeah, a little bit you won't believe, but he was capable of what he was capable to destroy.